All right, guys, today we're gonna do a Lunker Hunt Phantom Spider fishing test. All right, so this lure just got released, iCast 2019. Pretty crazy looking frog. Uh, well, spider, top water lure, hollow body, top water lure. Looking at the, the legs, the legs are glued on, not attached directly, or it's not like mo uh, built, molded, or whatever you want to call it, uh, as one piece. Which is good, because if a uh, fish bites onto this and you set the hook and you miss, it doesn't create a hole. Uh, hopefully it doesn't create a hole. I mean, I'm, I'm pulling it softly. It looks like uh, it looks like this may just rip off the body and uh, you just lose your legs. And I'd rather have that than rip a hole into my lure. But anyway, this is two inch long, big as my thumb, and it's a quarter ounce, so it's relatively light. I'm gonna take this out to catch some bass and snakeheads. I'm not sure which one I'm gonna catch first, likely a snakehead. And one more thing about these hooks, these hooks are relatively small. So um, it's gonna be very interesting. I am actually feeling this right here and uh, they're sharp. So let's get this baddie in the water and see what we catch and uh, wrap up with a nice review at the end of the video. All right, time to field test this baddie. All right, so the clip is a bad idea. So what I need to do, Let's clip this off. For those who are interested in fishing this lure, you gotta tie it directly. All right, so without the clip, you can see that the head still dived down just a little bit. So far I am, um, I don't know. I don't know what to say, guys. But when you do move it, you can see the arms, it does move a little bit. Let me stand up. So yeah, it goes out, in and out a little bit. It's okay. Let's see if we catch anything. Distance wise, you know, I definitely not cast it with my bait caster. Quarter ounce. I was gonna say put some beads in it. Tell you what, changed my mind. There's nothing you could do. You cannot alter this lure any way, shape, or form. Else it's gonna freaking sink. Oh man, if I actually pull it further from further away, like strong pull, the legs spreads out and goes back to normal. That's that's pretty cool. Hopefully you guys see that right now. So yeah, it looks cool. So far I don't like it because the clip thing and uh, it's so light, I cast it on a spinning rod. So hopefully we'll catch something with the spinning rod. Let me turn on my drag just a little bit. Great, my first snake head using the Lunker Hunt. Very small, but I was not recording. I mean, look, look, look at this guy. I mean, it is the first snake head, so I'm gonna take it. <laughs> Let's do some photos with it, but man, he barely got hooked. Let me, let me just turn it around this way show it to you guys look at that barely 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 are you sinking dude one hit and you're sinking dude one snake head and you're sinking you guys see this he is sinking now i i don't know guys i don't know one small little snake head and he is sinking there is like I don't even know where to hold that. I gotta I got find it and super glue it somehow. All right, so I squeeze all the water out. It's just tough to squeeze the water out. It's, so the way that I squeeze the water, I just squeeze it right through the front. Like usually there's a hole in the back. There's no hole in the back, but the water was uh, in there and it caused it not to float. So trying to get water out is a little annoying. And now it's flips up. My lure is upside down. What's going on? What's going on? There it goes, but it's floating. Man, this is like a billion little water spiders looking like things running on top of this. <laughs> this mat looks looks disgusting. Oh, I saw my line. Don't know if he left. Oh, got him. another small snake. But you know what? This time I got on video. Look at this small dinky snake. This is a dinky snakehead slaying lure. <laughs> Holy smokes, this is smaller than the first one. This might be my smallest ever on a top water lure. And that's only possible because this, this creepily, look at him shaking, look at him shaking. This crazy uh, <laughs> lunga hunt lure. Uh, can I? 
Nope. All right. Let's uh, see if I get a nice screenshot or something. There we go. Look at that. Okay. So guys, this lower do slide and the hook comes out and there is a weight there. This is exactly what I want to show you guys. So let me unhook this smaller snake head. The weight is right here. You see that? The weight is up top here, which is why, you know, the lure actually kind of sinks down like this because the weight pushes down this way and it goes down. If it's back a little bit more, maybe if you put a weight on the, uh, the body instead, you know, it wouldn't have to, you know, fall face first, but catching these snakes, tiny snakes, you guys into catching tiny snake heads, micro snake heads, or you have micro snake heads in another country, because there are definitely small species of snake heads. This could be a fun lure. Um, durability so far, I mean, I don't caught two. If I catch a bigger one, it's probably get destroyed. I don't know. Let's keep fishing and find out. Here it goes. Dang, this is a better one. Oh, oh man. Okay, this is what I'm talking about. All right, I just gotta wait for him to open his mouth. Cause sometimes he will open his mouth. And, oh wait, I got him. All right, Whew. guys, you ready for this? Okay, this is a lot better, a lot better. Better than those two small little snake heads earlier. Oh man, can I get his mouth open so you can see the snake, not snake, a spider. Here we go, I was flipping around. Spider-Man, here we go. Oh, he just breathed some air. But there it goes, guys, big big all right guys we are now back at the lab and let's wrap this video up with a product review i'm gonna cover a couple things for you guys i'm gonna talk about the castability buoyancy durability action and for the price point is it affordable and is it gonna be good so let's get straight to the point castability okay so this lure here is a quarter ounce and being a quarter ounce and have these legs right here i feel that this does not go far at all like even with a spinning rod i use a spinning rod with a fast tip action medium action 20 pound braided line it didn't really go too far and i think it has to do with probably the legs it has a lot of uh you could say drag when it get casted in the air now originally i wanted to add some glass beads to it so it had some more sound it had a little bit more weight get a little bit of distance but after using it one time, after my first snake head, it took in some water, the green one that is, it started sinking, it didn't float anymore. There were no holes on the frog, uh, of the spider. Amazingly, surprisingly, I think that was just luck that the, the teeth didn't shred this, but it started sinking slowly. So if I were to put anything in there, if it taken just a little bit of water, it would just sink. So definitely it's gonna be a lure that stays at a quarter ounce. And I just mentioned that a snakehead hit this, well, you guys saw it, the video three times, and uh, I think it's just pretty luck that none, there was no like holes onto this lure, but you can see that there is some uh, cuts here and there from the top and bottom, and I am looking at this, I did get hit by a couple bluegills, and uh, they were pulling on the legs, so some of the glue kind of popped off a little bit, but it's still stuck there. Now that it's, uh, I guess, uh, pry it open just a little bit. I'm gonna pry it open just a little bit more. So what I think is this legs right here, it's kind of like those, uh, here, let me pull in our frog. I got a Boya Pad Crasher Jr. here. You know how this weight actually get wedged into here, the body here? I think it's the same design, the legs, same thing, but no weights. It gets shoved in there and glued onto it. So eventually when this thing rips, it probably have a huge, huge hole. Like I'm looking at it right now, it does kind of look like that. Not sure if it's actually molded in. I'm feeling it does kind of feel like that. It's my assumption that once this leg get ripped off and the whole, if the whole body comes off, you're not gonna have a useful lure. 
But other than that, so far catching three snakeheads and uh, haven't gotten shred up, I think it might be lucky. So I can't really comment how durable this actually is. If you're just bass fishing, I think it will last pretty long. You saw that uh, when I was unhooking two of the snakeheads, this did slide out. So let's just take a look at the, uh, the nose here. I can start seeing a rip. So it's almost like any other frogs. Eventually this will wear, wear and tear. But some frogs, it does wear a lot faster than others. But I'm squeezing here, it does have a little tear. Action wise for this lure, I don't think there's really much action other than the silicone legs moving. And because they're so light, so flimsy. So it doesn't really, doesn't really make any big wakes or anything. So if it's more of a finesse day, you need to throw small stuff. I think there'll be a perfect lure to attract the fish. But because it's so light, if there's heavy cover, it's not gonna drag over the weeds and make any sort of wake, uh, nothing like that. I think this is more of a light weeds, maybe an open water near cover type uh, lure that you could use. I don't think I, I would throw this again in heavy cover. No special action to it. And when you try to walk it, because all the legs, it doesn't really wiggle, but you know, it, it darts just a little bit. And it's really all about the legs, leg movements. But again, the legs are so flimsy, it doesn't really create that vibration to track any fish. It's more of a visual, visual lure. This lure currently is $8.99 at the store. I saw it at Dick's Sporting Goods, and you guys buy from Tackle Warehouse, any place online. In my opinion, for this lure, it's not worth the money. I think uh, at this price point, you could buy other alternatives that's a lot cheaper. For instance, I had this frog shown to you earlier, so I might as well bring it. This is the Buya. Pad Crasher Jr. It is a little bit heavier than this lure. This is at, again, a quarter ounce. This is at a third ounce. And with this lure here, you could do so much things with it. You could trim the legs to the way you want it. You could add BBs onto it to make it heavier, like these, uh, these BBs right here, okay? Once you add BBs to these guys, it'll rattle and also allow you to cast further. And lastly, but not least, being a little bit heavier allow you to cast it, slam it onto slops, and it make that louder noise, vibration, and also being that it's a little heavier, it'll push the weeds down a little bit more when you pull it, displacing a lot more water, allowing the fish to hone into where your frog is at. With that said, after a trip out using this lure and making an entire video of this lure, I personally think that this lure is not worth your time or money. But if you guys have used this lure and you guys think otherwise, Leave me a comment below. Let me know your experience. What are your thoughts about this lure? And for those who have not purchased this lure yet, do you guys still think of buying this lure? I hope you guys have found this video useful. If so, please hit that thumbs up button. And if you guys didn't think this video was useful, please leave me a comment below. Let me know how else I could improve my product videos. Until next time, guys, thank you for watching. Peace out. All right, guys, this is recording. This... Let's heard something pop. My buddy, you got a pop over there, but Look at this, spider in the mouth. Spider in the mouth, guys. Woo! All right.